Good morning traders. So how do we trade the Dow Jones today? So I want to point out a couple of things here and the first thing is the importance of 200 EMA. Okay, you see there how yesterday we rallied up, hit the 200 EMA and immediately bounced off. Okay, there were some long signals on the lower time frame and I'll point them out to you now but um, it was really a scalp because it would have been up to this level and then back in short. Now, the trend is very firm to the downside. Okay, I'm still of the opinion that we can expect some form of a bounce uh, or consolidation, but we need to be patient and wait for that. Now, here's my inside tails over here, and you can see where price got to right on those inside tails. So that is my line in the sand to the downside, which is 24.144. And uh, then we're looking for a level to the upside. We'll pick that level up for lower time frames. Um, we also still have this potential wedge forming here that you need to pay attention to. Okay, we did step outside of it, but this could be overthrows. Um, or alternatively, it could just be trying to uh, form a downward channel. Okay, so just pay attention to it. So the, the next thing to have a look at is, let's just have a quick look at the 4-hour. Now, the thing to notice on the 4-hour is every time we get a 4-hour close above our moving averages, we sell off. So we get one 4-hour pop above it, and the next 4-hour candle basically is a red candle and a big sell-off. So that's kind of how to put it. Um, you need to you you need to pay attention to it. So, you know, yesterday, yeah, you saw we had a bounce off the inside of the moving average. So there was a long setup here, but you would have had to take profit on that turn moving average. It's um, very rare that you just break through the turn moving average, and you can see how it was a rejection bar off there, and there was your next short entry for a trade to the downside. Now uh, that's if you are watching this twenty four seven, and uh, I don't really trade like that anymore. So I look for my opportunities and maximize my opportunities when they come around. Uh, the last thing I want to just highlight is we are coming up to the end of the month and uh, the bears are definitely going to try and ensure that this is a bearish bar on the monthly. Okay, there have been very few, so they are going to try and do that. And the big trick is to see whether we get a continuation monthly bar next month, um, sort of two red bars, because that's that will be indication that um, this bull trend is over, and we may be heading into a bear trend um, environment. But for now, this trend is still firmly to the upside. Just a lot of volatility this year. Okay, so let's get down to the um, the one hour. That's the level we're going to trade. Now you can see this pin bar we had at the close, so it could just be people taking profit that we're riding the short and then took profit. Um, alternatively, it could be an indication that there are buyers stepping in. Okay, um, oscillators are kind of all over the place at the moment. Nothing really that I can see here. And I think for me anyway, the trend is still down. Trade with the trend and pick up these levels. So this is the first level where we are now. And then there is another level up there. Okay, so the one concerning factor though is that we do have a fractal that is higher than this one. Okay, that was a previous fractal. So this is a higher high over that, but we did form a lower low. Okay, so now if we draw those lines in, you'll see it gives you a megaphone formation. line okay so there we have our megaphone formation okay so that's an indication of indecision as well so which way we're we going to go I uh, wouldn't be able to tell you right now but I do suspect that this level here and I'll just put another line in there so this area here is definitely an area that I'd be watching for a turn and possibly a continuation move to the downside. Okay, 
Um, just bear in mind the oscillators are grouped to the downside, so it could be an extended move up. And it's also possible to come all the way up to the 200 moving average here, uh, where that would be the area for a short. Okay, so yeah, I think this consolidation phase here is going to continue. Um, the fact that it's getting broader and increased volatility is um, just another indication that there is very little uh, clear sense of direction at the moment. Okay, and we're also in earnings season, so you know the earnings that are coming through are not like they have been in the past. So you know the effect of the trade war is definitely starting to work on everybody. Okay, so I think before we shut down here, let's just have a look at the Ichimoku. That would give us an indication of what's actually going on. So from a daily perspective, um, Dickinson is starting to flatten out. Uh, Kijans is pointing away. So we've got diversions between these two. So in other words, they're moving apart. Price is still very far from them. So I do suspect we're going to get some kind of a move to the upside to come and test these levels up here. But um, it doesn't happen overnight. It does take some time. Looking at the four-hour trend is still firmly down. Nothing in Ichimoku here that's indicating a turn on the trend. So what you'd want to do is, if you are looking for shorts, that would be your uh, your stop level. So 24752. So I would just put it a couple of points above there at around... 24788 in actual fact up to higher up a little bit more because you've got an inside bar here so it's possible that it comes up to this level and then bounces off okay another way of doing this is just put the level in make sure you know where Kijinson is and then come down to the lower time frames and watch those for your entry now if you see on the 30 minute you'll see how these tails line up in the cloud with the 200 moving average. So if we do get up to this level, it's definitely an area to watch for a, a short entry. Okay. Um, and I normally like to take it off the hour. So that would be a bounce off the cloud and a move to the downside. Okay. Um, very volatile at the moment. And if you look at the Williams percentage R here, it is also indicating that we are in overboard territory so you should be looking for shorts at the moment and this is on the hour so I strongly suspect uh, another leg lower and um, we have broken through the previous low this was the previous low we have broken through it so I would suspect maybe a bit more of a climb consolidation and then a next leg lower okay that leg lower should be a measured move of um, something like that and let's just get a Fibonacci because that would be the easiest way to do this okay so we're at the 50% retracement and you can see I've kind of taken it off the cloud and the cloud is at 61.8 okay so that's kind of what I would expect. I'd expect more of the same. We're staying below the cloud on the hour, so um, there's nothing here that is going to tell me that we could, we have a, a turn in direction here. So I'm expecting another short. And we're looking for something from around 24727 with a stop above 25074. Okay. So it's a 340 point stop loss. The only other way you're going to trade this with a better, well, you won't get it off there. Oh, yeah. What you could do is be looking at um, Kijinson as your your stop level, but even that on the higher time frames is not really going to work out that well. And just bear in mind, you see the 61.8 plus the level. Um, lines up with the 200 EMA on the 12 minutes. See that? So there are three levels here on the higher time frames and on the lower time frames, all in this 24.727 area. Okay, so that is definitely an area to look for shorts. 
Okay, so that's kind of uh, my view on this at the moment. I'm expecting more, and I just want to have a look at the weekly. We are heading for a weekly crossover, which is also not very bullish. Okay, so that's kind of how I see this at the moment. Um, looking for a another short, but obviously from higher up. So we're looking to sell the rallies. Um, the key thing here is that we have broken, we have created a new low. Uh, so it was a low, lower low, lower low. Okay, the only confusing factor is that we did create a higher high yesterday as well. Okay, so yeah, just be careful. Um, keep your stops in place. I don't see this thing bouncing and running hard to the upside. Uh, it may retrace a bit, especially at the open, it's similar to what happened yesterday, sort of really, 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 and then the bull step in and drive it down. Okay, so that's my take on this for now. I hope it helps, and um, enjoy your day. I'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.